Well, more people are picking up their free N95 masks from local pharmacies and grocery stores, but a lot of people have questions about them. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to answer those questions, plus a question about the new Omicron variant, the new one known as BA2. Frank? Yeah, Kim, so a viewer asks, should we be concerned about the BA2 variant? Well, here's the thing. It's definitely worth keeping an eye out, particularly because we don't know how well protected people who have been infected with Omicron BA1 are going to be protected from BA2. If there is not good cross protection, then we could see an extension of the current Omicron surge. Now, hopefully that does not turn out to be the case. Here are some more of your questions. Deborah asks, we wear our masks only when we go in the store to shop. We are not wearing it eight hours a day like those who work. How long will our N95 mask last for us? N95 masks are intended to be disposable, but as we figured out early on in the pandemic, when they were in short supply, their life can be extended. As long as you keep them clean and the straps continue to hold the mask firmly to your face, there is no reason it cannot continue to be used. Now another viewer asks a related question. Now that I have an N95 mask, I'm not sure how much it can be worn. Is there a recommended number of times or hours the N95 can be worn and still provide protection? The CDC recommends that N95 masks should not be reused more than five times, but I would think of that in terms of number of days. In the hospital, it's not unusual for many of us to wear the same N95 mask for a full eight hours. That would count as one use. If you put it on and take it off multiple times a day, I consider that part of the same one day's use. Now, finally, a viewer named Sharon asks, I work at a preschool which is now supplying us with N95 masks. I can't get the masks to stop leaking at the top when I breathe out. That can't be safe. And apparently she has a small face because it's long. She asks if I have any thoughts. Okay, Sharon. So first of all, to be certified for use in the hospital by healthcare workers, these high filtration masks or respirators as they're called actually need to be fit tested to ensure a proper seal around the face. Now, unfortunately, we obviously cannot fit test masks for every single American. And we're basically relying on an average fit so if the mask is too big for your face, aside from looking for a smaller one, you can try knotting the straps so maybe they'll be able to pull more firmly. Also, try using a regular disposable mask under the respirator to basically kind of fill in the gaps. Think of it like wearing an extra pair of socks if your shoes are too big. Now, these are not perfect solutions, but generally a reasonably well-fitting respirator is going to provide better protection than a regular mask will by itself. Yeah, really, really good demonstration there, Frank. So how do you how do you recommend people store those N95 or the KN95 masks so that you can reuse it? Well, you know, ideally you should let the mask dry out for a few days between long uses. It should ideally really kind of be hung in an open area mm -hmm. or you can store it in a paper bag to dry. Do not store masks in a plastic bag, though, because that actually prevents them from drying out. Paper bag, that's the key. Yep. Okay. Dr. McGeorge, thank you.